Eight mistakes beginners make when building scenarios. Mistake number one, naming their scenario with spaces in the title. So let's say we built a mission and we put down some units and some other things like a vehicle. This is our mission and we go to save the mission we click on the save icon and we name this assault space forces space recon and we saved it now at the top right of the editor it says assault forces recon just like i named it looks great and now if you go into the editor and you go to the scenario tab and then you go to open scenario folder in the scenario folder obviously you're going to find the mission sqm but if you look at the name of the mission that we just created so go on stratus so here's the name assault forces recon so the problem here is when you have spaces in the title of your mission name like i have here the game is going to put percent 20 in place of those spaces repaste what we had and we're going to save the scenario so you can see at the top right we don't have no name we hit save we're going to name this assault underscore recon underscore horses now ideally this is what you'd want to do there's other ways but you're going to get the same thing up here but then when you check at the scenario in the scenario folder you could see the name like this so if we go to stratus the salt recon forces stratus now why is this important it makes it readable and why is it more important it's more important for co-op and multiplayer mistake number two renaming scenarios without also moving any scripts that the scenario has now this is a scenario i created to spawn waves so if we play the scenario this is my character and if i open up the radio menu i can spawn a group and one group will spawn and basically come attack and the next group will spawn come and attack and all this is done by a script so if we go to the editor and we go to open scenario folder here is our mission and this mission has a script that it uses now if i were to rename this scenario because i didn't care for the name or i had a better idea let's say i rename the scenario let's, let's go to scenario and then go to save as that's how you would rename it let's say i renamed this scenario spawn AI and I saved the scenario so now that you saved the scenario you could see the name up here you think your everything is good so you go play the scenario you go to your radio because it's still set up and you choose spawn group but now you get this error it says script waves SQF not found well, what does that mean let's go back to the editor let's open the scenario folder in the scenario folder it said we were missing the waves.sqf so where is it so the thing is you didn't move the script we have the script here you can move it or you can copy it I'll just copy it if you put it into this the same folder of the new mission that you created and then go back in game you're gonna see that that fixed the issue Mistake number three, loading scenarios through the main menu. So if we went to the main menu, went to the editor, chose Altus because our mission's on Altus, wait for it to load. Then we go to open scenario folder. We choose Altus or you look for your mission and you scroll down looking through our missions and then you choose the mission we want to load so we can edit it more. So here's our mission. Instead of loading your mission through the main menu and going to the editor like I just showed, you could do it right through the launcher itself. So what you do is you go to parameters tab and then under the basic parameters you go down to where it says mission file editor. You check this box, you click this which is a browse button and you search for your mission. So for me I got the missions, it's in a folder and we have desert ops run you don't double click that you choose the mission sqm you hit open 
and that sets up the launcher to load your mission. So then from there we just hit play. The game's gonna show the Arma 3 logo briefly. And then it's gonna take you straight to your mission where you can continue editing. Mistake number four. Searching for their scenario through the documents folder to add scripts to the mission. Normally you would go to users and Gunter Severlo. Then you go down to documents. Then you would go to Arma 3 and then to your missions folder. And then you would go to your mission folder and here is the mission so now we could add some scripts instead just go to the scenario tab at the top left click on that then go down to where it says open scenario folder and the scenario to add scripts or whatever to will open up directly mistake number five not sure about the controls when editing now if you need help with the controls you got a couple avenues you can go to help you can go to the documentation you could also do the tutorials or you can go to view and then go down to interface and choose controls hint now before I choose that I'm going to show you something so if we place a soldier you're going to notice that nothing happens when I hover my mouse cursor over him other than the wire box shows up but if you go to view you go down to where it says interface and then down to where it says controls hint you click on that you're going to notice a box that shows up to the bottom right there just to the left where it says play scenario so that gives you some controls so at the top there it says to move the soldier hold down the left mouse button and move your cursor left to right or wherever to set the altitude hold left plus hold your left mouse button down and you could pick them up. To rotate, hold shift and then hold down your left mouse button and you could turn them around. Mistake number six, placing new groups of the same kind one at a time. So if we go to F2 and we choose, let's say we choose independent for sake of the map and we choose paramilitary shock team. Normally a beginner would just place one group and then go to another spot place another group and then go to another spot and place another group problem with that is there's a faster more efficient way to do this there's a couple ways I'm going to show you these ways first way is you click on the group that you want and before you place them you hold down your left control button now when you do that when you press con left control you're gonna see a plus sign show up under your cursor so you click on that and then you're gonna see that the same group is still showing up under your cursor so from here you go to your next area that you want and you press your left control again you'll have a new squad go to your next spot again and you'll have your squad. The other way is choose your squad, place your squad. While they're still highlighted, press Control C, and then wherever your cursor is, you press Control V. Mistake number seven, moving units individually. Now let's say we had built a mission. We have a bunch of units we placed all these different units and they're all going to be players in our mission or different assets for different different stuff but they're all going to be at our base so normally a beginner will do something like this he'll grab the asset and he'll move them to the new location wherever that is and he'll go back and he'll I don't even know where these guys are He'll get the next guy. Let's see how much time that wastes. And you go back. What you could do, you could go like this. But rather, 
just draw a box around them all so that they're highlighted and then move them to the location that you want. Mistake number eight, making multiple units playable one at a time. And let's say we had a number of units and these are going to be our players because we're creating a co-op mission. We know this is the player. What a new guy would do, he would edit this and make them playable. Hit OK. And he would do that. Nah, that takes too much time. So what you could do is you place your units. Instead of choosing setting one unit at a time to be playable, just draw a box around them all. It's where they're highlighted. Right click one of them. Go down to where it says attributes. And then choose playable. And hit OK. And now they're all playable at once. No!